What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Protest Sports from the Protest Sports Network. Back with another video for you guys today, man. I hope you guys have a blast one, staying safe, staying healthy. Right, again, to our glory of God, from God, we're going to be rapping to y'all right now. SOTWFT, uh, Season 3, Episode 3, Week 3 Edition. The Washington Fall team just took a huge L. I, the, the score was 43-14 to 14 last time I checked. I don't know what the final score was. They could have put a 50. I don't freaking know. I'll put the final score down in the actual title of the video. Uh, but we lost terribly. Uh, it was a blowout. Uh, we're gonna get to I'm gonna get to a quick game summary afterwards. I'm going to talk about pros and cons, and uh, some things that need to change. When you get whooped like this, there's some things that have kind of been evident to me after this game. So I'm gonna give you my personal protect thoughts, and then I will give you guys a quick snapshot of next week's game. So quick game summary: Buffalo gets the ball first, march down right down the field, um, score a touchdown, a key third and fifteen after they had a penalty. A false start from Emmanuel Sanders. It was picked up by Gabriel Davis. Um, afterwards, they marched right down the field. Josh Allen looked sharp. Um, anyway, 28-yard touchdown connection from Josh Allen to uh, Emmanuel Sanders, making a 7 nothing. Afterwards, the Washington football team does nothing with it. Go three and out. Buffalo gets the ball back, and they get uh, they get another touchdown. This one's from a uh, connection from uh, Josh Allen to Zach Moss. I'm sorry. This, this virus. Ugh. Um, making it 14 to 14 to zip. Uh, we get the ball back. Heineke's moving the ball a little bit. He gets a third down conversion from him to Logan Thomas. But Chadavis White gets the cookies out. Fumble. Recovered. Uh, I say about eight, nine plays later. Dawson Knox catches a touchdown on a, uh, on a fade route. Uh, I think it was Cole Holcomb in coverage. Made it 21 to zip. Next play, or oh, like three plays later, I think it's twenty-one nothing. Is a uh, scamper from uh, Antonio Gibbs on a screen pass, seventy-three yards away, touchdown. Washington football team cutting down to a fourteen-point game. Uh, the ensuing kickoff was like a weird kickoff. Shout out to uh, to uh, to Nays to Nays, our, our special teams coordinator, for the uh, for the very innovative kick there. Cody uh, Cotton almost recovered it, but he didn't. Instead, it was Dustin Hopkins who actually recovered the kick, giving us an extra free possession. Uh, we take that possession with a, and end it with a Taylor Heineke four-yard touchdown run to cut down to seven. And the rest of the game, we never get closer as the Bills dominate the rest of the game. Um, Josh Allen had a rushing touchdown, a couple of passing touchdowns, another one to Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, he had another touchdown pass to someone else as well. Uh, I forgot who it was, but he had another touchdown pass to someone else. Um, dominated. Stephon Diggs was catching passes. Uh, it was just dominating performance at that. We got shot the rest of the game. Uh, and that was pretty much the wrap up of the game. We got destroyed. Uh, we, had, we had a competitive first half, but uh, the Bills had a couple field goals before halftime. We tried to make some points happen after halftime. It didn't happen. They scored a touchdown, got up 19, and then the rest of it was a wrap, and they started blowing us out, out the water. That's how it went. Got another field goal, went about 22, and then just ran away with the rest of the game. Uh, so, uh, pros. The special teams today? <laughs> like, uh, special teams. And Deron Payne looked solid early. Uh, that's the only pros I have for y'all. Antonio Gibson was solid today, as pretty much always. Uh, cons. Didn't give Terry, Terry, Terry McLuhan the football enough. Uh, we had three turnovers a day. Uh, two INTs from T Taylor Heineke. Oh, that, that's nothing that happened. Uh, we didn't go bring out on that second drive, on that third drive. Heineke did throw a pick to Jordan Boyer. I think Lee Bruno picked to Micah Hyde today. So he had two picks today. Heineke was bad today. Actually, very, very bad. Um, on critical situations to keep us in the football game. That's what we got. That's what I got down 21 zip because the two turnovers, one from Logan Thomas and one from Taylor Heineke. Lee Bruno never picked later on in the game. So Heineke was bad. Logan Thomas had a fumble today. Uh, defense was looking bad today. William Jackson once again keeps keeps getting um, getting burnt because of bad communication in the secondary. Uh, no one looked good in the secondary today at all. The secondary all looked bad today. Pass rush was non-existent as it always has been for the past three weeks of this season. It's just. There's some things that I've realized in this game. Three things, protest thoughts. This is, this is the third part. So I gave the game something, gave you pros and cons. Protest thoughts. 
so let's keep my point. Jack the Real needs to go. P P Jack the Real needs to go. Like, he needs to go. I that's it. I I'm done. Like, Jack Del Rio needs to go, and Ron Rivera needs to take over defensive calls. Period. This defense has been horrible. They keep playing these soft zones. They keep getting eaten up all the time. We're not blitzing enough, and when we do blitz, we're not getting home because we're blitzing the wrong side. Where the strong side, where there's too many offensive linemen to, to, to you know, eat up the blitz. So we're not we're not coming home with blitzes. Uh, the players need to execute better too. But Jack Del Rio has been calling horrible defensive game plans all season long, and I think it's time for the dinosaur to get up out of here. Like it's time for Jack Del Rio to go. I'm it's not for it no more. I'm done. Uh. <laughs> I'm kind of on. The, I'm kind of on the fire Scott Turner thing too. Like I, 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 we need both. We need, we need two new coordinators. Period. Um, number two, Taylor Heineke, just not a franchise quarterback. Period. Just period. He his limitations were shown today. He's too small. Um, his arm isn't live enough, and he. he He's so scared to run that he's been throwing interceptions because he's scared to run. That, that's the thing that I realized about Taylor Heineke right now. And, it, and it, like I said, I, I said at the beginning of the season, he's a nice short-term starter. If he has to start four or five games for you, he can. I think I, I, I've kind of went up there. If he can start a whole season for you, I think he should still be the starter for the rest of the season. But after this season, you need to find a quarterback. Do not run these three back next year. I repeat I better see a brand new quarterback room. Brand new, no Fitz, no Kyle Allen, no Heineke. Just brand new quarterback room. If you want to keep one of them, you can keep Taylor. But the rest of them need to go. If you want to keep one, Taylor's fine, but I need basically a brand new quarterback room. All right, number three, uh, we're not making adjustments, either defensively or offensively. And we need to work on that ASAP. Uh, sneak preview week four. We do play the um, Atlanta Falcons in Atlanta. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I will not no longer be at that game because of my COVID-19 diagnosis. So I will not be there. Uh, but my dad and my brother will be there. So I'm, I will have some vlog footage from them uh, very, very soon. And we will go ahead and um, upload that as soon as possible. Whenever they get back, whenever they send it to me or whatever, I'll go ahead and chop it up and edit it and vlog it for y'all. I mean, and uh, upload it. Uh, so... Got, got, got Matt Ryan at quarterback this week, a really good quarterback. We just played another good quarterback today in Josh Allen. Uh, we played another one in Matt Ryan. Uh, he can carve defenses up like, with, the, with the best of them. Uh, got Kyle Pitts. Uh, we don't really do good well against tight ends, and he's going to definitely be a problem because we don't well do well against tight ends. And Calvin really is a top-10 receiver, period. So um, the Atlanta offense is going to be pretty good. And they're going to definitely be a problem against us on Sunday, next Sunday, that is. Uh, the, the, the Atlanta defense stinks. Our defense stinks, but their defense is maybe just as bad or worse. So hopefully we can maybe get back on track offensively this week um, instead of scoring only 14 points. Uh, and then maybe defensively we maybe can get back on track against a kind of spotty offensive line with the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, so that's gonna do it for me, man. Uh this 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 performance stunk. Um if things continue to go bad like this, let's just say we are two and six going to the bye week. Jack Del Rio needs to go. Um if we end up not winning at least seven games, I think Scott Turner needs to go too. We need brand new coordinators. And I'm not absolving Ron either. Ron, you gotta be better. Uh the team has to be better. Everyone has to be better. This was this was pathetic. This was trash. This was disgusting. If I ever see another performance like this again, I'm going to be a lot, lot more pissed off than I am today. Cause that was awful. So get together, y'all. Let y'all stay safe. Like, comment, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Peace.